Oh, it did hit. Yeah, because I... Wow, it, it did actually hit it. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's actually fallen. Oh, we took out two of its engines. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Operation Exploration. This is episode 22. And in this episode we are going to be building some surface to air missiles. Now, the last episode we left off we were prepared to blast this here off the moon. But I feel the best decision at the moment is to get this um, stocked up using uranium. Um, requires using a reactor and for the reason... Oh, sorry, the reason for that is because that has actually ran out of ice and has also ran out of solar power. And the batteries have completely drained. And I don't want that happening on the moon. So it means that we're going to have to get uranium. And we did have two choices on getting uranium. And one of those choices was... We build like some sort of missile system that takes out these enemy bases and then we go and collect the resources, mainly uranium, from these bases. The other option as well was to go up to space and go visit some asteroids and see if we can find uranium that way as well. Now to my knowledge, um, now these are very very big gaps in the ground, I don't know what caused them, must have been ships that fell, but um, to get uranium, uranium is usually deep in asteroids. Well, from the last time I played, um, uranium used to be on the Earth as well, but from reading the release notes, or devlogs for the game, they removed it from Earth, so I'm assuming that the only way to get it now is through asteroids. And the last time I got it through asteroids, there was very, very deep within the asteroid, almost in the middle of it. And um, I've only ever sort of found it once or twice. Now I have watched my friends play it as well and they um, found it through that way as well. Um, although I've only ever, actually no, I've only ever found uranium once and that was on this earth here as well, back over beside the old base. And my friends actually found it on the asteroid map me now when I remember that. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll build some surface air missiles here. Now we're not going to do it on this We'll probably put like a platform here coming out, extruding out from this here. It comes out to about here. Or, uh, we do like a tunnel where the missiles pop in and out. Now it would be kind of cool, now where is like doors that flap open like this and out comes a missile. Or, um, for example, if you have like a structure that pops out but on the structure is like six missiles. And what it does is it can pops out of the ground and a rotor rotates them into the direction of where they're going to go. Something like that would be pretty cool. Now I did think of doing some surface to air uh, missile carrier, you know, like a cart or some sort of a buggy that drove it because I know that it can be very hard with stationary sh uh, stations, stationary stations, that it's very hard to aim. You have to use like cockpit and other methods or you can use GPS. Uh, but sometimes it's better to use like um, cars or some sort of buggy to do it for you. Now the weird thing is the large grid missiles that I have they are well, not missiles, they're torpedo parts. The large grid ones are not working properly in survival. I don't know why that is. It seems to be some sort of bug but the small grid ones are but the good thing is the surface terror missiles that I'm looking to build for this here are going to be small grid and that means that you can get many of them clumped together and have them pop out of like a short space in the ground so that's um, kind of good but if it meant that if we were going to put them on some sort of a ship like that there it used to have surface terror missiles not surface terror missiles, it used to have torpedoes on it and it worked in creative but it doesn't work in survival for some reason I thought it was due to um, like say for example another way hydrogen 
uh, replenished itself and creative. I thought that was the reason why it wasn't working in survival. Uh, but it turns out that's not actually the case. So we're going to have to use small grid uh, torpedo parts for the surface to air missiles. So let's turn off this weather first. Um, I know it is a wee bit cheaty, but it's it drowns out the sound. There we go. Now, let's see. We're not actually going to build it over here yet. We're going to do like a mock version here. Possibly here. And the reason for that is um, we can play around with it. And when we're happy with the design, we just replicate it over here. One that pops in another ground. I'd rather have something that works properly. But I, I know how much to dig because I don't want to like make a huge hole and then find out that ha only half the whole width needed to be dug. Where is that coming from? There's something there with media on it. There's something there I seen flashed up at a 4.10. Oh, it's this. Um, so yeah, let's build it here. Now, if we're going to replicate it, we're going to replicate it properly. So if we imagine this here is the ground, ground level. Although, we don't have enough piston room. Yeah, actually, you know what? We'll just build some pistons here. So, let's get some blocks. Oh, we have some blocks. Let's get some pistons. And we've got the rotors there. Now, I have been testing some of this here off camera in creative mode and I know I did say that I would test most of this stuff in survival but the thing is with torpedo parts and the fact that the large grid missiles didn't work I'm glad I done it in creative mode first rather than doing it in survival and realizing oh it's not working so I'm happy that I tested that way and I have been sort of messing around with different designs to see what works and what doesn't because the release notes for the the actual torpedo mod, let's just say it lacks, and I'm not 100% sure how each part sort of works. Now there is some basic parts in it, and there is some YouTube videos, but um, the actual release notes that I wanted to read, or the wiki I should say, is it lacks information. Um, why can't I build that there, and I can't build it here? What's blocking? Me from building it there. I feel like it's gone red. It's gone red there, but it hasn't gone there. It's like as if something's blocking it. That's weird. Yeah, let's put this here. Now, that's building away. Now, I know that's the wrong type of block, but I don't uh, really care about that at the moment. Let's put that there, so that's going to be, imagine it popping it in and out of the ground. Doesn't have to be exact. And then, um, we want a rotor to turn it. So we want this here. And then we want, um... If we can get that turned around, so we need to roll lock off, and let's turn it around. And then what we'll do is we'll actually lock the rotor. It's kind of scary to think that no something's just going to be aiming at you in a few seconds. So let's turn it towards it. There we go. That's all right. So that's is it. Is it over this direction? Probably needs to go another bit. Let's turn it around another wee bit. That'll do it. And then what we'll do is we'll do the same with this here. Where the rotor lock is off and velocity one and roll lock off. There we go. Let's fire. Let's turn it around a wee bit more. There we go. Alright, let's fire. And we go to this here. And launch. Oh! That's actually taken off very quick. So let's get this here. And I have lost complete track of it. So I don't know where we are. 
I will be heading here. Oh, it did hit. Yeah, cause I... Wow, it, it did actually hit it. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's actually fallen. Well, we took out two of its engines. Oh, nice. Whoa. And the lag as well. Oh my god. <laughs> One of the- I didn't even think- Oh, the, the, it's starting to sink into the world a wee bit. I thought that had parachutes on it. Whoa. <laughs> I can't believe that. I didn't realise a small grid missile was so powerful. Oh my god, oh we have to go over and salvage that, although I noticed that there's big guns on this here and I know that we shouldn't have been doing this through uh, spectator cam because it is cheating so now I know the thing is armoured, not armoured, it's armed to the teeth with guns, so um, it's going to be very hard to get that, but wow, <laughs> that was actually really really cool, I'm actually really surprised. Let's go back to us. Let's build it. There, yep. Yeah. Then let's build a rotor on top with the small rotor head. And then we add a small head to it. And then we add um, uh, rotors on the side. Now, how big are they? Ah, okay, so they're that squared. Okay, that's good to know. So what we need is three down coming up. This one there. And this one going there. Then we need um blocks coming up. So, one, two, let's just see if it actually does cause an issue when rotating, so velocity, let's do one. Oh, I've got an idea, let's put that back to zero, right, I got an idea, how about, let's spruce it up a bit, we take these here off, nah, this there there we go now it can go in all axes without having to worry about clang so that's that good then we go to here and we add our stands one two one two let me quickly check other the wrong way and um, so that after I'm not supposed to be like that Two, one, they're supposed to be. Oh, not that way, this way. Oh. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. No, it is quite early, like 1.5 blocks wide. It is definitely more narrow compared to that there. Anyway, let's add the rest of this together so we need the interface. Let's go on. Yeah, just double checking. Let's go on there. There. Batteries are going on the front. And there. 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 And there. That's the the front, isn't it? Yeah, that's the front. So we need uh, the heads on the front of all them.
I think I might just keep it. Too explosive. Then we need the merge, which is seven. I need to add on the back of all them. And then we need the tail. There, there, and there. Now let's lock the rotors before flying comes in. On, on, on. There we go. That's that. And uh, the rest of these on here. There we go. Mm -hmm. And now we can add our guidance blocks, which are going here. It's going there, there, and there. Dryer is going underneath. Oh! I need to turn off the uh, thrusters because that's why it's bouncing all over the place. Now this is where I was saying earlier on, where a client comes in. So that's thrusters. Turn all them off. It's getting very excited. Uh, it looks like the piston is to blame with that. Mums, if I do sure inertia and do sure inertia on these as well. Ah, okay, that's good to know. So sure inertia needs to be on and all those. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny to look at how uh, the gyro has done that. It's weird that it happened on the small grid ones. It didn't happen on the big grid uh, version like that one there. Although I reckon all this here, how compact it is, is something to do with it. So we've got that. Let's add uh, guidance. Yeah, it's okay. Let's add our antenna, which is nine, to the top of all those. And I'm not bothered with direction of the antennas or the gyros. Uh, we're just more concentrated on the. Uh, and I just realised the batteries in this year are facing that way, and the batteries in this are facing that way, but that's nothing to worry about, we don't care about that. Uh, we probably end up sharing the same projection twice for one set of missiles, although, no, because technically that's a left and that's a right, so they are different. Yeah, I know, it's okay, yeah, we can use the same one twice, we just uh, flip the mirror, and not flip the mirror, we just flip them around, upside down. Okay, so that's that. Now we don't need to add the these here to the sides. And there. There we go. Now, before we do any silly, let's turn all the thrusters off. Oh, hear that? A wee bit of jiggle there. Okay, that's good. Now, with these here, oh, and I just realized something. When we go to rotate these here, to get it up and to stop and to go down and to stop, um, what we're going to have to use is like the reverse and the stop on and off on the height, and then do the same with this here where it's reverse either back and then the stop rotor lock to stop it. So what we do is we'll set this here we'll set this here up and uh, rotor lock off and we'll set this here to go up the ways. So that's going down so we need to go uh, minus one and rotor lock on. So let's point that up and I suspect this one here is one and rotor lock off. Okay. Now we don't want it to point down the way, so what we'll do is we'll put it until it goes 90 back to the way it was. So what we'll do is we'll reverse. Yeah, so we'll set an upper limit and a lower limit. Um, obviously, we want it to come level, so that's going to be like, if you imagine that's 0 and it's 90, the limit is going to be 90. We don't want it to come all the way around because that kind of defeats the purpose of it. No, going around that way. Instead, we just turn the rotor around and face it towards that. 
So it's going to have an upper limit of 90 and a lower limit of 0. So let's set that up really quickly. Okay, so I have that all set up. And let's make it a wee bit more fancy. Let's add the power blocks on there. And this is what it's going to look like when it gets built. Okay. We'll probably just take a blueprint projection of all that. So, that's what it looks like there. Uh, and then what I'll do is, for this here, I'll probably just build something around it as a makeshift just to see what its full rotation is. And that's what it looks like there. So it's pointing over towards that um, atmospheric freighter there as a test. And it does pan about really well. So there's a camera here on the right. That's the main one. So what we do is we go in here and a quick show. So on it we have the camera. The the first two rotor that you see on the bottom. And it turns it on and off so that moves it about so you can pan about like that and lock it by turning it off. The other one controls the height. So what we do is Right, that's gonna be take a while to get used to. Is there anything in the sky that we can turn towards? Let's turn it up as well. Don't think there is. Let's hop out, see what it looks like. It's quite menacing looking. It's giving me ideas to leave it like that, <laughs> so it spins around. Um, there's nothing flying about, is there? The one time that you want to fire at something, there's not. Uh, I say we fire uh something that keeps flashing, I don't know what that is. I say we flash, <laughs> not flash, we go and we target uh, that atmospheric frigate just to see what happens. So let's do that. So we'll hop back into this. And we're actually going to spin it the other way. Like this way here. I think that'll do a bit there. Let's pan it down. The other way. There we go. I can go all the way down. And let's... Um, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. We need to go this way. And stop. There we are. That's roughly in the middle. Okay, then what we do is we'll set up um, guidance. Now, um, oh, I seen something flying there. Super grand. Let's go for that instead. Forget about that. Let's point the thing back around. So we go this way. There we go. No, over there. That'll do. And it's actually going that way there, so let's point it more to that so we get ready. And let's go down a bit. Oh, it's going to get a while to get used to this. Okay. That should be enough. And let's fire it manually using this here. Actually, we get our we um. What? What is the name of that? What is that camera? Oh right, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So that's it there. Um, let's get our wee camera ready to go. Right, that's it there. Now I've noticed now that started to move. So let's get back in here quickly. And let's go with zoom in out. So we need to turn it to the left a bit. There we go. Okay, fire when we have it. There it goes. We'll just fire away at this one here. Launch. And let's go to eight. Oh 
we got a hit. Let's fire another one. So let's go in here and aim. And let's pan it around a wee bit more. There we go. And fire this one. Oh, it's a bit off you. <laughs> I didn't realize what, uh, what happened there. Whoa! It's, it's going that quick, I can't keep up with it. Let's aim another one. So, we go back to us. And let's get here. One. Pan it round. There we go. Let's aim a wee bit like that so it doesn't have far to go. Launch. Eight. Whoa! We blew something. Oh, it's talking about something critical. Because now it's spinning uncontrollably around. I see another one, a fourth one. Not the fourth one, a third one will get the rest of that. So let's quickly go back in here. Pan it round. There we go. And let's fire this one. Launch. Let's see. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. Wow. Oh, nice. I think I took out the reactor. Oh no, I can still, is that fire or is that? No, nothing after that. Don't even think there was anything worth there. Yeah, it's completely obliterated it. Yeah, I don't even think, there is some scrap there but <coughs> Nothing worth uh, salvaging from that. Wow. Oh, this here, wee little thingy. Some job. That is some job. Imagine seeing that in your rear view mirror. What else can I fire at? I'm getting very trigger happy here at the minute. So that's. Um, point it back down. Let's go down and let's turn it around. And there. Let's aim for that. Now I reckon this here's going to fire at the hillside, but I don't really care. Just want to see what happens. I reckon it's going to hit here somewhere. So it is we'll set the camera up. About there. See how that goes. Yep. Okay, that's good to know. Did that sh ship despawn? Oh. It despawned. I must have took out his reactor or otherwise it wouldn't as it wouldn't despawn. That's a wee bit annoying. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> uh okay, so that's good to know. Oh so nice. So you hiss there of like Is that noise? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's charging and then it's not. That's weird. Yeah, that's why we need uh, uranium. 
Okay. I am starting to think now because of what happened there, the fact that it hit that mountainside, I do think a buggy with a surface to air missile mounted on top of it would be handy because that way we can drive it around the bottom terrain and aim it at ground level at some of these here. And that'll make use of our first uh, vehicle that can drive out to the bottom of the base, which is down below that ground there. So what we'll do is we'll just construct it up here and probably like fly it down or lift it down and then mount like something like this here onto the top of it. Same way, same principle where uh, projections will have it that it builds on top of it. And then of course the buggy can have, um, it'll be a large grid, same way as this but with small grid missiles on it. And uh, it'll have builders on it with some parts to create all this here stuff so it can weld new ones on the spot. I'm trying to think of a script I can make to make these here easier to control. No, I don't think it's worth it. I think just getting used to the buttons is the best thing. And like uh, you've seen yourselves, it was easy to take those ships out. It wasn't like I was messing about with the controls too much. Um, like I could have fired them oh, like way off, not even looking at it, and it would still lock on. But yeah, it's good to note that way. Okay, so let's build them back on. And then what we will do is um, we'll just build it on this side, take projection, and then what we'll do is, yeah, put the projection on each side, and then it builds, so it builds automatically. The launching system, the one where you keep hopping in and out here, is we is a wee bit awkward, but um. Yeah, it's, it's a wee bit hard to set up the lock on. Although, saying that, this here will be dismantled, so there'll only be six at a time, so it's not like it's going to be hard. And they're all going to be the same missile, so we'll just add one to the panel. So, as soon as they're built, add them all to the uh, to the G menu and then launch them off. So, it doesn't matter if this comes off and then two here, like it doesn't have to be a certain pattern, just as long as we can launch them, that's pretty much it. And it they will be replaced by anyway, so um Yeah. Looks good. Okay. So what we'll do is um we'll build a set of rockets and uh, not rockets but a set of torpedoes, take the blueprint and add on to this. Now I don't think I'll bother doing it on here because I have disconnected from this to add the blueprint and it'll fall there and break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this here. And build it on top of this. So that's going to be there. This is going to be, if you imagine that. So that's going to be um, how much it was seven but the this here was um, And then it was this here. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll actually turn them off. There we go. So they're all off. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's give it a wee bit of a color scheme. So let's do the penetrator in red. There we are. Yeah, I do like the look of that. And let's uh, delete this. Take the blueprint. Draw B. And that's going to be um, Surface to um, air missile. Sam V1. And uh, we'll put the projection up on here. Now, things like the camera, they can stay. It's only for building the new missiles. So let's get. And let's actually take all that stuff off. Or should we? 
Is there anything floating about that I can take out? Ah. Uh, okay. So, let's get pointed toward the there. So we can take that out. It's good enough for me. Fire the last rocket. <laughs> right engine got taken out. See, this is where um, it's very critical. So if you took out engines like that there, we wouldn't be long falling down. Now, what I've noticed is that the enemies are actually in nearly the same colour scheme as our ships, which eh, is something that I was looking to avoid. I don't know why it's done that. Why has the, the enemies have the same colour in the scheme? Unless... Cause it used to be red and black. Okay, so we're back in the game. Now, I have done a couple of things. I have reset the controls, although I don't know what. I changed the control settings because that didn't really do much. And I have actually lowered the graphic settings from high down to medium just because the simulation will run a lot quicker and the videos will be a lot more smoother. And it does feel a lot more smoother as well. The detail isn't as good, but it's very acceptable and I do like that. Like, not much has changed. I don't mind. Now, I've just realised that if we put this missile here, we're going to be completely blinded either side of these here because of um, them ships. So if anything does come there, we're going to have to be careful if we don't accidentally fire our own stuff down. Uh, so, uh, what we'll probably do is either... Um, we'll probably have multiple... Um, for like missiles, probably like one here and one over here, out of the way. But we'll figure it out. Um, nothing to worry about right now. So let's aim it at something. So we're gonna go into here and just pan it about. Let's go around this way here. Yeah, that is gonna end up taking out. <laughs> right, yeah, but it's not obviously going to go there. It's probably going to go here. So it's good to know. Let's actually start building the perimeter around it. Just so we know how big we're going to make it. So we don't need this here anymore. And what we're going to do is the wee perimeter. Uh, we know to keep a block out. So what we'll do is put that there. Let's go in there. Let's go in there. And um, let's go in here. Like that. And this one here. And then some sort of like curved block here or something. What can we put there? This here, maybe? Yeah. Looks good. And let's copy the same. Okay, so that's that, and technically this should rotate around without hitting any edges, so let's see how that goes. Very good. Nice, let's finish off this side. Uh, oh yeah, I just realized that's in the way, so let's uh, remove all these here. There we go. Now uh, let's extend this piston and see how high it pops out. Obviously there's going to be more pistons added on. The one that comes out there. Uh, 
So the hole we need to make is literally this and that's all that's going on over there and then this slight perimeter is probably going to be like a block or so tall. A couple of doors on it. That'll pop out and they can be d popped out automatically using sensors so when the sensor doesn't sense it, it it uh, puts the doors down and when it does it opens the map. Right, what can we fire this at? Aha! We've got another transport courier, but we don't have anything to control it with. So what we'll do is we will quickly get this to reverse. And then what we'll do is we'll roll or lock. Fire. And uh, another one's ready to fire it. Let's actually see how far that went. Or how much damage is it uh, done. Alright, uh, so it's still floating about, so it didn't actually do anything by the looks of things. So let's fire another missile at it. Been knocked out. Nah, I don't think there'll be anything salvageable out of that. Other than ice. Yeah. Components. Drill. I was ready to fire again. Oh, it's so nice. This is so good. So, so happy with this. So, uh, let's get that moved over to here and probably in line with this. And we get it built. So, it'll involve having to do a bit of digging. And it's going to set down in here. Yeah. So, let's get a little line made. Now, to do this, we're going to make um, some removable blocks just to sort of point it over to where it needs to go. Uh, so, that's going to go there. Okay, so that's going to go roughly about here, I'd say, would be the good spot. So, all we can do is we can go... Let's go on there. Space. Let's go on there. Yes. There. And we can actually remove all this. Actually, no, because we need to connect it. So let's drill down. We probably will go up another half block, I'd say. Ah, let's do that. That'll do. And we'll square it off. So we'll use this here to go across there. And then armor block. Yet. That's flying a wee bit close for comfort. Let's take that out. Right,
Oh, something got taken down in here. Let's see what that looked up. Let's fire another one. like the mess anyway let's continue uh, the rest easier on So that's it for the missile silo. Um, I have added this here around the edges and we've got a lid on top that flaps open and down. Now I did originally want sort of like two doors and up like this but what I realized is that the um, sort of silo isn't actually like even numbers, it's odd so it's actually three across so I mean that either one side will have two and the other will have one etc so I just sent one door directly. So let's open it up and see how it works. So it does work off three timer blocks for each open and close stage. And that's so that the door can open and then you can pop out. And then when it's closing it does sort of in reverse uh, without the door battering off the turret and vice versa whenever it's opening or closing. So let's run uh, trigger now. And there's what you can see at the moment. Now it's got the same that was over there. Um, I have taken it down recently and made a mess of the floor as well as I was doing it. Um, but it's got those timer blocks for controlling the coming up and down. It's got uh, projectors on the sides for building new ones. Now the reason why it's actually flashing is because the current blocks that are here are um heavy armored whereas the projection is trying to build light armor blocks so we'll have to update that projection in the future to stop that flashing so we have uh what is that some sort of uh Zerty mark ii there so let's use that as a practice shot now i haven't set up the controls yet for this in the console but what we can do is we can go down to the control room and do that now before that disappears i do think it disappears after 10 or so kilometers so let's go in here let's take the lift up to floor three and then we can set up the console for firing at it here we are Let's run down. Here we go. And okay. Now let's go to number two and set it up here. So we need the camera. I do think it's this one. I didn't check that quickly. Yeah, that's it there. And we need to set up uh, the rotors. Now the rotors for this here are the Sam ones. Um, so that's the rotor Sam. And the way that's going to be is going to be a refresh. And I think it's toggle block on and off. 
but uh, it is actually Sam H. There it is. I seen it there. So this one here is going to be a reverse and toggle block on and off. And then this one here is going to be a reverse toggle block on and off. So let's view it through here. And <laughs> yeah, it's it's gone. It's disappeared. The one that we were going to buy, but there is one there. I noticed as 4.3 kilometers. So let's see if we can pan around to that. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. See, it has a lock on it, and uh, it means that when it's folding up, it needs to go around to the right position. So we, if we need to aim at something to, uh, slightly to the left, we have to do a full resolution around. So what we'll do is we we'll just pan it around so we can see that. There we go. Let's turn it around again. There we go. Another wee bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go for guidance and we'll just launch one of these here at random. It doesn't have to be any specific but just enough to take that there out. Let's turn it around a wee bit more and launch. There we go. Now it should lock on. Yes it has. Eight. Can I actually follow that with the camera? Oh, lag. Lots of lag. Ooh, that's bad. I don't know what's trying to keep up it, but the CPU is at 100%. Whoa, that's a lot of lag. It's never been that bad before. I might check my process to see if it's been running. There it is, it's cooling down now. There. Oh, we got hit. Let's see what got hit. Right, it seems to have taken out some things there but there's still four engines powering this so we'll fire a few more rockets at this there's there yeah so let's go back to us uh turn it around a wee bit there we go and we need a uh, guidance let's take this gear off and that's going to be launch missile launch missile launch missile launch missile so there's still that there up Let's turn it around a wee bit. And go down a bit. Oh, did that lock on? Probably not. I didn't mean to press that one. Let's turn it around a wee bit. And seven. Now that should lock on to that. Yep. Seems to. Right, it's taken out something. Not sure what it was. Let's go back to us. Back to here. Oh, wrong button. There we are. Let's turn it around a wee bit. There we are. Let's fire eight and nine. There we go. Just seem to be going for that. Let's go to this here. Follow the game. I think one of them might have missed. Doesn't seem to be losing left, so let's go back to us. And let's set up the menu again. Guidance. Oh, not reset lock. Launch missile. Launch missile. Launch missile. Launch missile. Let's turn it around a bit. And let's put it down a bit. There we go. That should be it. Six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. Now they should all go for that. Let's follow that. There it is. Come. Right, let's see what damage is done inside. 
quite a bit. I'd say it would take a few more rockets to take that down, so let's go back to us. There we go. Number one. Yeah. Let's turn the camera around a wee bit. That'll do it. G. Let's take the EVR off. Guidance. Right, we've only got two so far. So we'll do these. There we go. And six. Oh, it mustn't have got that properly or else it would have um, added. I oh, would have shot off, not added. Now we're a bit far right, but it should come into view now after 5 kilometers. The, I haven't set the antennas to be too far in distance. Oh, there we go. It didn't build an antenna yet. Um, yeah. So it is using the atmospheric thrusters and hydrogen thrusters. What the heck? Oh, it's disappeared. But there is a lot of debris there. S uh, scrap. Oh well. Let's go back to us. So this is what it looks like here. Um, at the moment it is currently building. But in there you can see is two builders. And they are the only things that are building them uh, towards back on. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably add a few more around the edges. There is plenty of room there. There's room for another let me see, two uh, four five maybe six yeah, probably room for another six if you use um, things like connectors, etc uh, conveyor blocks connect all them in but yeah, it's pretty really set up. I'm happy enough with it it is good for what it does, just the only thing is the reloading is a wee bit slow. Again, just fix that with a couple of uh, builders and that will be it. Uh, it's very confusing to control, uh, similar to the setup there, although I'll probably end up writing a script that will make it easier to control using just like up, down, left and right buttons to control the motion of those rotors. Uh, the only motion you need to control is this one here, which is your sort of horizontal control. And then this one here is like your um, vertical. Now the uh, hydrogen has run out, so let me see if I can jump down here and access it. I can. There we go. And up now the vertical axis. So, um. Yeah, it is good enough we set up there. Now you can see that it's just beginning to finish off its last uh, build. The one thing you need to be careful is that sometimes it does doesn't do uh, components, and you won't know it until you go to fire it. So you need like some other camera, an external camera, to watch uh, as it's building. So maybe like the camera on a hinge, that's like pointing and looking like this here, and that way you can see, you can flick to it and see what's been built and what hasn't. And you did see in that week tutorial, the one where we fired um, at that ship that was flying past. Um, it did look like one of them had been built, but it wasn't. And you can see there it has actually landed on the ground. And it didn't build the front yet. Uh, so that's something that we need to watch. Now, there's them there, ready to go again. Now, I noticed that this rotor is actually slightly more tilted than that one. I don't know why that is. I noticed that one firing them off. I reckon those um, lights have something to do with it. Yeah, they're probably they probably take up. Inventory full. Yeah, and let's do the same with this one. Inventory full. So um, let me just quickly flip it round. So that's uh, it's actually caught a Sam rotor so that's reverse reverse oh it's yeah because the rotor locks on and uh, where is the rotor lock there yeah it's there now we go back the other way 
Rotor. Refresh. And then uh, this other one here for the Advanced Rotor Sam H. That can be um, reversed around as well. So we just turn that there on and we reverse it the other way. And then what happens is it'll lock into position and it'll stop and it gets to zero. There it is. And now we can close the whole lot over. There we are, and that's it closed over. So, that's a handy wee setup, and um, what I might do is I'll actually chop um, this part off, well not chop it off, what I mean to say is I'm going to take this into creative mode uh, along with the whole base, and what I'll do is I'll chop this here section off and make that available as a blueprint. So if you want to build that in your own survival world. Now the only issue is uh, it does consist of three subgrids, so if you're going to build it in survival, it's not going to work unless you use some sort of merge blocks. But yeah, it is um, pretty fun to work with. Or even if you want to try build it yourself in survival, it's worth it that way. Sometimes it saves you the hassle of having to use merge blocks. Um, and merge blocks with large grid. It can be a wee bit tedious as well. Um, but... Oh. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Charles always go mad on that. I don't know why that is... Um, because it is technically a friendly signal, so. But anyway, that's pretty much it uh, for the silo miss uh, missile, miss missile silo. Uh, so we are able to take down, um, I suppose, sky aircraft. Uh, for bases like such as these ones here, it's not going to work as intended. Because uh, it's there. But what we'll do is we'll actually take the blueprint of this, mainly from the rotor setup. I meant that on like some sort of a um, rotor, yeah, rotor setup. And then what we'll do is we'll mount it onto some sort of a rover, and we'll take the rover out and drive it so that it's like say sitting here. And let me see, let's see, we'll take it to about there. We'll aim it at that base and fire off a load of missiles. Now we do need to make sure that the rover is stocked up on supplies. I'll have to do some maths on. I'll have to do some maths on roughly how much it'll take. Now I see there there's uh, another vehicle. So what I might do is for the finale of this here episode, let's see if we can try take that down. Now it is moving that way, so I think we might be able to get it. Let me see, open. And see if, what do you call it? And let's go down to the control room. Oh, wee bit of an oops. And let's pan the camera around. Oh, it's this one. So if they rotate it round right, that seems to be about it. Now let's lift it up, which is four and five. There it is. Let's twist a wee bit back around to the um that way there. Let's go to the G menu. Um it is going to be guidance. Um, launch missile, launch missile, launch missile, launch missile, and let's go to tab three and put the remaining ones. Launch missile, launch missile. Let's go back to two. Let's uh, turn it around a wee bit. And let's get our wee camera ready to go. The lag, there we go. Now, where are we? Perspective, there we go. We're looking for to go for. Uh, let me see, we're sitting here. 
looking at this here, surgery mark, so let's go up to that. There we go. Back to us. Uh, let's go around a wee bit more. Six. Oh, it's locked grid, that's good. Let's go to this here, see what happens. You can see they're approaching. Uh, I think something might have blew it up, so let's launch the whole lot at it. Why not? Seven, eight, nine, one, and two. Some nice hits on that. Let's check out what it done damage wise. Okay, so it's, it has taken out a turret and um, has blown off some thrusters there. I see. Uh, what else has it done? It's done much damage now. So we might be able to go to some sort of nuke, see how that goes because those penetrators and um, exposed penetrators like they do. A lot of damage but it doesn't seem to be much compared to what we thought it was so yeah that's pretty much it so we'll go back to us and we'll hop out so that's it for this here episode i'm gonna leave it at that and next episode we'll start making the ground uh rover based sam so that one one that we can drive around fire and we can build like that uh, one up on the top with builders so we need to make it that we can stock it up with the necessary resources so we can uh, reload anywhere and we can take out some of them ground targets collect the uranium and then we can get to the moon very very quickly so that's uh, all coming up in the next episode thanks again for watching and i'll see you in episode 23